when volcanic rock or ash is formed, there is a certain amount of radioactive potassium which forms in the new rock. As far as we can tell, the amount of radioactive potassium in the Earth's mantle stays about constant. This level then begins to decrease over time after the eruption. As these rocks go from purple to black, this simulates the loss of this radioactive potassium. Radioactive argon, however, increases. When the rock first forms, there is no argon gas in this new volcanic rock. Any argon which existed can be lost as the molten rock hardens. But as radioactive potassium decreases, it becomes argon whose level then increases over time. Because the rate of decrease of radioactive potassium is steady, and because the rate of increase of argon is steady in these volcanic rocks, the potassium-argon dating technique can be used to date these rocks. If all rocks begin with a comparable amount of potassium, indicated here with the color pink, and with no argon, indicated with black, you can see the difference in the rocks here uh, dated 100 million, 50 million, 10 million uh, years old, and rocks formed presently. The older the rock, the uh, more of the potassium which uh, is lost, the pink color goes to black. And if measuring argon, then the black color indicating no argon initially then becomes a darker green the more time which elapses.